Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to the channel. So if I sound tired, I apologize. It is like 6.30 a.m. A little bit later than normal, but maintenance ends a bit later. So I thought I'd give myself a little bit of a lion. So today, if you guys are new to the channel, we would love for you to stick around, join the community. The link to the Discord is down below in the description. And we do have for uh, about four or five guild slots open. So if anyone is interested, hit me up down in the comments and I will give you the guild code. So, if you also would kindly pull your weight, that would be greatly appreciated. So, we are looking at the new Goten, Trunks, and EX Raditz today. So, I honestly expected EX uh, Zenkai's to be a thing, but I didn't actually expect them to be a thing anytime soon. I thought they'd probably run out of Zenkai's for sparking units first. But the fact that they are doing it this early, I'm quite happy with, to be honest. So, let's look at his stats. His stats pre-transformation are actually kind of nuts. 203k, 186k, 139k defenses as well. And then you get post-transformation of 220 and then 155k defenses. That's actually ridiculously good. So, this guy, if he wants to rival the Kid Goku, has to be incredible. The stats are on a... Pr this is at 4 stars, by the way. This, these stats are pretty damn up there already. So, let's see what we have for him. So, base. Extraordinary transformation. Transform into Super Saiyan. Super Sa uh, the transformation lasts for 40 counts and restores Onki by 40. Eh, decent, decent. Overflowing talent. Reduces damage received by 30% for 15 counts when this character enters the battlefield. Solid little cut. Uh, applies the following effects to allied hybrids or sun family when this character is switched to standby you get 30 key oh that's a goat that's already beating goku no wait no how much does goku get goku restores key by 20 no i think he restores the key by 30 as well if i'm not mistaken uh then he also gives a damage buff of 20 percent damage Jeez, same as goku damn okay uh Gain attribute upgrade minus 20% enemy sustained damage cut effects. So you cut through enemy sustained damage cut. Interesting. Uh, promising new generation. Reduces enemy... Ooh, boo -boo. Reduces damage received by 30% from battle start for 15 counts. Okay. So he has a 60% cut for the first 30 counts of the match. If you do it in the first 15 counts, of course. So, yeah, he can just enter the battlefield. He gets my, he gets 30% cut. And he gets another 30% cut every t time he enters the battlefield for the first 15 counts. So that's actually a really good defense option in the first 15 counts of the game. So that's actually really, really good. Uh, applies the following effect to allied hybrids or sun family when the battle starts. Oh, just, just from when the battle starts. All right, then. Uh, he gets... He gives 15% damage and 50% key recovery. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me just hang on. Let me read this properly. So you're telling me that this man is giving a permanent 15% damage buff to your allies just when the battle starts. And 50% to key recovery. If I'm not mistaken, SSJ2 Gohan gives 30% key recovery. So your team's basically going to have like 80% key recovery. That is insanity. That is actually just ridiculously insane. Because if that's the case, your team is just not dying. I mean, your team is just going to have constant, like, infinite combos if they have a draw, if they have draw speed buffs. So let's look at his strike and blast cards. Damn, that's already sounding super dangerous. Forgive me if I don't, like, fully understand something. I am kind of waking up. Um, and apologies for the sniffs, you know. Uh, Blast. Restore Vanishing Gauge. So this is a Sparking Raditz uh, ability. Uh, come here. Come here, come here. Ha! Deals major impact damage and randomly destroys two enemy cards on hit. That's actually really good. That's solid. Solid. Major impact, not massive. Still solid. Uh, I'm super pumped. 20% strike damage inflicted for 15 counts and 10% damage inflicted by allies when this character... Other than this character for 10 counts. 
Bro, this guy's a really, like... Why are all the units they're releasing these days pseudo-supports to, like, this heavy extent? Oh my god, and he's a double Sun Family and Hybris buffer. Oh my god, double attack buffer. Oh my god. Mad Tang. This guy's gonna be nuts. That's pretty transformation. I haven't got into his transformation yet. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see. What well, he is a male. He is a blast type, right? Uh, hybrid Saiyan Sun family support type. Okay, so he is actually a support type with stats like that. He's a support type. All right, my guy. Whatever you say. God damn. My. He okay. That's ridiculous. Oh yeah. We'll see about that. Draw a special art card next, which is a green card. A restores own key by 50 and increases. <laughs> okay. 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 Increases odds card draw speed by two levels for 10 counts. Okay. You get key. That is an Aleph Margin Vegeta ability. Minus the alt. You're getting. What does his green card do? Once transformed. Applies the following effect to self upon transformation. He gets 20% damage inflicted for 15 counts, and he reduces damage received by 20% for 20 counts, which cannot, uh, cannot be stacked, but still, that's really good. And he's got Blast Armor. <clears throat> Excuse me. He's got Blast Armor when charging forward. That's insane, guys. Like, that's actually really good, in my opinion. Because he's buffing himself by 20% damage, but he's also reducing damage received by 20%. He doesn't even have to land it. He just has to use it. That's nuts. And it can change into anything. So he gets a green card. He gets 50 key. And he gets an additional card draw speed of 2 levels for 10 counts. That is a long time, 10 counts. Wow. That's almost a guaranteed farming of a rising rush right there. But that's just me. Blooming Talent applies the following effects to self upon... Uh, to self until the enemy... Oh my god, I can't speak. I'm sorry. I'm actually kind of just blown away by how, like, solid this unit is so far. Applies the following effects to self up until the enemy... Uh... Until the transformation ends. There we go. <laughs> okay, you get 70% damage inflicted, which cannot be cancelled, which is incredible. The cannot be cancelled is ridiculous. That is amazing. He reduces damage received by another 30%, which cannot be cancelled. That is insane. And then he applies the following effects to hybrids or sun family when this character is switched to standby. You get key, you get damage, you get the cut effects, and then you get lessons from Gohan. It applies the following effects to self when, eh, when there are 20 counts remaining until transformation ends. <laughs> you restore your own health by 20% and you get get an additional 30% damage for 30 counts. This man... There you go. Now he deals Super Goten Attack. Okay. Deals massive impact damage and reduces enemy key by 50 on hit. Bro, what is this unit? What? This guy is... This guy seems ridiculous. This guy seems actually honestly just unbelievably dumb massive impact 50 key he roll reduces 50 key bro i can't actually believe what i'm reading this guy's he's a support unit but god damn he's gonna hit like a truck i might be hyping him up too much but from what i've just initially read and from what my initial understanding is this guy is going to be nuts. Constant key. Constant cards. Yeah, bro. This is going to be nuts. This is going to be nuts. And he can transform after how many counts? 10 counts. He only needs 10 counts to transform. And then another 10 counts to get that odds card level draw speed of 2. Yeah, this guy's going to be nuts. I I'm saying it now. This guy's going to be absolutely dumb. He's actually making me really want to summon on the banner. But my luck has been actually really quite trash in pulling new units. So I really don't know. I really don't know. I really don't know. But we'll see how it goes. We'll have to see, unfortunately. But uh, 
Let's move on to Trunks, and then we'll go quickly over Zenkai EX Raditz. I can't believe that, bro. I actually can't believe what I'm reading. Uh, Super Saiyan, here goes. Transform into Super Saiyan, restore key by 30. Solid. Applies the following effects to self uh, per hybrid or Vegeta family member other than this character. 30% uh, damage inflicted for 30 counts and reduces damage received by 20% for 30 counts. That's solid. So he's getting 40% uh, reduction as well as 60% damage. Yeah, that, that's very solid. That's actually really solid. You can't judge a book by its cover. Applies the following effects to self when this character enters the battlefield. You get 30% damage inflicted and 35% key recovery. They're really loving this key recovery rec uh, ability these days. Uh, a fight's a fight. Increases arts card draw speed by one level for three counts every time this character uses an arts card. A strike arts card. Minus five to strike and blast arts cost for five counts upon landing a blast card. Bamalam, what did you say? Sorry, what? Strike card. You get an increased draw speed. Strike card. Increased draw speed. Increased draw speed. Fam, you can get an increased draw speed of two at least for like six counts. That's insanity. That's actually really good. You'd have to have a full, you'd have to have full priority, but that's still really damn good. Double Buster. It deals major impact damage, 15% to damage inflicted for 20 counts upon activation. That's decent, actually. 15% to your general damage, and you only have to activate it. Actually, really solid. Doesn't look like you can teach it, which does actually kind of suck, but it's okay. I'm totally psyched. 20% strike damage inflicted for 30 counts. Decent. Not amazing, but decent. And Vegeta family's got a strike and defense buffer as well as hybrids. That's solid. Pre-transformation, this man is solid, I'd say. He's not amazing. Actually, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. He's pretty damn great, to be fair. Uh, the stats as well. Oh, God damn, bro. Gotens definitely seems way better, purely because he's got like 20k more defense. But... He's a support, so I'd assume his defenses would be higher. This guy's defense are like 12k or so lower. But that's still really solid. We rule, what I tell ya. Uh, restores own health by 25%. 40% damage inflicted and cancels own attribute downgrades. That's solid. That's very solid, actually. Very, very solid. Uh, you can't judge a book by its cover. Uh, you, your following effects occur when this character enters the battlefield. Now he gets... 50% to key, uh, damage inflicted, uh, inflicted and 50% to key recovery and inflict all enemies with sub count of 2. What does that mean? When he comes in, he immediately gives them 2 on their counter because if that's the case, that's dumb. That's actually dumb because if you come in, you can lock an enemy immediately in Rising Rush. If that's the case, that's broken. Like, that's actually broken. Um... A fight's a fight. Applies the following effect to self every time this character uses a strike arts card. 15% um, damage inflicted for 5 cards and he, for 5 time accounts. And he increases arts card draw speed by 1 level for 5 counts. Now it's gone up to 5 counts. Okay then. Okay then. Uh, so he's going to boost his damage every time. But he's also inflicting. He's also giving himself cards constantly. Like card upon card upon card. Upon damage, upon damage, upon damage, and minus to minus to minus to minus costs. This man's gonna be dumb as well. And uh, rush, break, shoot. That doesn't make sense. But sure, deals massive impact damage and 25% damage inflicted for 20 counts upon activation. Yeah, th that's a really good blue card, actually. Um, feelings running high. Restores own key by 20. It gives 20% strike damage inflicted for 20 counts. Yeah, this guy's good. Uh, these guys are good. I don't know what else to say other than these guys are actually really stupidly good. Uh, their damage is dumb. Their support is dumb. Especially Goten, in my opinion. I'm more hyped for Goten, even though I've got Zenkai Kid Goku, who honestly is just ridiculous. But uh, these guys seem like they're going to be rivaling it. So, yeah, it'll, it'll be a very interesting little move. Very interesting little move that they're going to be taking. Anyway, uh, we've got this new equip. I'm not going to read it. You guys can read it yourself. Uh, it's just a new equip for Raditz. So, yeah. I uh, don't really know what else to say other than I'm going to go quickly and run over Raditz. Uh, not that way, but uh, 
run over Raditz. I feel like that would happen. Uh, let's quickly find your boy. He is an EX, so he will more than likely now be at the top of the list for EXs. I didn't actually do this before, which kind of bums me out, but it's fine. Let me know what you guys are actually keen for. Are you more keen for Zenkai um, Raditz? Are you more keen for Goten? Are you more keen for Trunks? Let me know. I'm actually very intrigued to see what you guys have to say. So here is uh, here is Raditz. Let's I've got him at 14 stars, as, is, as uh, should most people by now. I'm going to put him at 14 stars. There you go. He's at 5k. His stats prior were <laughs> 214, 120, 250, and 140. That is actually a really solid little jump. Uh, restores own key by 50. He gets 30% to own key recovery and minus 5 to own blast arts cost for 15 counts. Solid. Really solid. Unprecedented, unprecedented terror. Plus 20% damage inflicted against Super Warrior and Sun Family. That's actually really good these days. I'm glad he inflicted, they it changed it not to Super Warrior. Uh, they included Sun Family in that because Sun Family is very, very good these days. Especially since now you have a direct co uh, counter to Zenkai Gohan. So yeah, that's actually really good. Boiling Saiyan Blood. The following effects occur for 30 counts when the, from battle start. Sorry. Okay. For the first 30 counts then. Plus 30% blast damage inflicted against Saiyan. Oh no! By allied Saiyan. Ooh! Ooh, he's a pseudo support. Reduces damage received by 20%. Okay. Alrighty then. Okay, so he's giving that support buff. That's very good, actually. Uh, Callous Aggression. Unlocks at Adept. So that is Zenkai 3. Uh, inflicts enemy with attribute downgrade plus 10% to damage received. Decent. For 15 counts, every time this character uses a blast card. That's actually solid. Because now you can inflict an enemy. If you've got four blast cards in your hand, you can inflict them with 40% damage inflicted buffs. That's actually really good. Uh, Asain, Asain's True Worth unlocks a powerful Zenkai 6. Applies the following effects to self. When this character enters the battlefield, he randomly destroys one of your own arts cards and draws a special arts card next. Interesting. So he destroys a card and gives himself a green card. And then he gives 30% damage inflicted, which cannot be stacked. But he also increases his card draw speed by one level for 15 counts. That's actually pretty solid. What does his green card do? 15% uh, damage inflicted for 15 counts and 10% blast damage per blast card in your hand. And change his own strikes to blast. Okay, that's actually really good. If you have a full hand of blasts, that's when you realistically want to use this with this guy. Because you can boost your damage by 30%. Which is actually really good. And if you have strikes, you can just change them to blast and really help your case. Um, yeah, he just gets an additional 15% damage inflicted. It sucks that he holds two green cards, uh, two strike cards, but it is what it is. Um, oh, wow. Blue and extreme. Interesting. He only has strike and blast attack. He doesn't actually um, have the defenses. Very intriguing. He is only the stepping stone for Zenkai's, so you can't expect him to be the best unit, but that's still pretty solid. He has still got some serious potential on his hands. I used to love, love uh, using this guy when he came out. Well, not when he came out, when he was in the game, when I was starting out, because he was actually really fun. He was actually really good. Uh, but now, I mean, you can't really do that anymore. Double Sunday deals major impact damage and 20% to own Blast Art's power for 20 counts upon activation. So that's actually boosting his own damage as well. So that's actually really solid. I love the Double Sunday attack. I really, really do. It's a pity the new Raditz didn't have it. He had Saturday Crash instead. But I love Double Sunday. I don't know why I've always loved that attack. I just think it's jokes. It's funny. So yeah, guys. I hope you did enjoy this video. That's where I'm going to leave it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Are you guys going to summon? I don't know if I recommend it, honestly. Because these units are solid, solid units. But I don't know if you want to save for anything more hype around the corner. But, I mean, it's totally up to you guys. Uh, it's your crystals. You know what to do with them. You know what your guys' teams are. So, yeah. Without further ado, guys, I'm going to get out of here. I hope you did enjoy, like I say. And I will see you all in the next one.